Welcome. In this video, we're going to be looking at cellulose. Now, before we look at cellulose, let's quickly have a reminder in the differences between alpha glucose and beta glucose. So here we have alpha glucose and this is beta glucose. Notice that they both have the same molecular formula. However, the atoms are arranged slightly differently. This means that these two molecules are called isomers. Now we already saw that in alpha glucose, both the OH groups are in the same plane. That means that they can join together like this and create a glycosidic bond. And this allows it to extend even further and form polymers such as amylose, amylopectin and glycogen. However, in this video, since we're looking at cellulose, the monomers are going to be beta glucose. Now the problem here is that the OH groups are not on the same plane. Therefore, they are on opposite planes. So since they are in opposite planes, that means they cannot join together in a condensation reaction. And so beta glucose cannot join to form cellulose just like this. However, we do know that cellulose is a polymer. So how does beta glucose join? So the second beta glucose molecule is inverted. This looks something like this. Okay, now let's bring this up. Now we can see that both the OH groups are on the same plane. So that means they can condense together to form a glycosidic bond. Okay, now before we look at that, just a quick side note. This is something a lot of people make a mistake on. And this is that they rotate the second beta glucose instead of inverting it. Of course, this is completely wrong. And I'll show you why. So here we are rotating the second beta glucose by 180 degrees. Now, Notice that even though after rotating it, the OH groups are still on opposite planes. That means you have to invert it and not rotate it. Okay, so let's continue now with our cellulose formation. So there we go, we formed a 1,4 glycosidic bond. Yes, even though the second beta glucose has been inverted, it's still a 1,4 glycosidic bond. And cellulose only has 1,4 glycosidic bonds, nothing else. Okay, so let's see how this would form a polymer. So let's move this to the left so we can make space for one more beta glucose. Now the third beta glucose will be the same as the first one in the sense that it will be in the same position. Here again the OH groups are meeting together at the bottom and that forms another 1,4 glycosidic bond. So the rule is this, that you're going to have to keep one the same, invert the next one, then the third one goes back to normal and the fourth one gets inverted and so on and so forth. So here's a demonstration. So here's a beta glucose. The second one has been inverted and we formed a 1,4 glycosidic bond above. The third one is the same as the first one, back to normal. And you form a bond below. The fourth one will be the same as the second one. So inverted again. Again, bond above. And next, back to normal and bond below and so on and so forth. So this is a cellulose molecule. One long strand of beta glucose molecules joined together by one four glycosidic bond, in which the beta glucose molecules are alternating. So this is one cellulose molecule. However, we can see that here we have many molecules joined together and this is called a microfibril. Now what's joining them is many hydrogen bonds which form crosslinks and this is what gives the cell wall strength and rigidity. Now remember, hydrogen bonds are weak intermolecular forces. However, because there's so many of them, this gives cellulose great strength overall. All right, so to summarize, cellulose is made of beta glucose monomers that are alternating and are joined together by 1,4 glycosidic bonds. It is a straight and unbranched molecule, unlike amylopectin and glycogen, and many cellulose molecules can come together to form a microfibril, which then can form a macrofibril. And this is thanks to many hydrogen bonds forming crosslinks, which gives the cell wall strength and rigidity, and this helps to prevent the cell from bursting. Hey guys, if that video helped you, support our channel by liking, subscribing, and sharing it with your friends. And more importantly, if you still have questions, drop a post on our forum at examqa.com where I will personally be there 
to help answer your questions. Mohammed signing out.